here with uh, Gabe Watson and Tristan Hendy from the Los Angeles band Native June. Fellas, it's uh, great to have you here today. It's great to be here, Jimmy. It rocks to be here, Jimmy. Okay, awesome. Spent some time with you guys at South by Southwest, and uh, it was... Do you only have two microphones? Just... Yeah, yeah, we only have two. Yeah. Um, Why, is that a problem? Songwriter Showcase, right? It's, are you, you're the I'm the singer of the band. He's the bassist. All right, listen, fellas. Your sibling rivalry is, is well known. Do you, you well, think... it's... It's can, resolved. Can you contain it for the interview? We'll just, uh, can we, we can get through Let's this. just go. Bass okay, players go. are important. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really do get into it sometimes, don't you? Yeah, it's, um, you know, like an we've grown up together, actually. We've been oh. in this band for seven years. So. Yeah, we exercise in two ways, either on stage or just, you know, brotherly conflicts. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's very heartening. Sure. Now, you are the primary songwriter for the band. Sure. And yeah. do you actually collaborate, or do you just kind of discount anything he says just summarily? We actually do collaborate, uh, even though you know I bring a lot of the lyrics to the table and I show up with probably the best stuff, right? I bring the best stuff. Um, do you know when you order a salad at a restaurant? From time to time. And the waiter comes up and w says, "Would you like some parmesan on your salad?" See the parmesan. I'm the waiter, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that brings the, maybe the he's funk the and the vibe behind it. You maybe, know, maybe he's the greater. He's the greater. Um, Marcel's the waiter. Okay. Uh, the I'm the cow that supplies the cheese. So anyways, that's where we're going. I don't even know what that means. But we did have a great time at South by Southwest. You guys played a lot of shows. I was really blown away by the, the intensity of your performances. Uh, you what much. has life uh, had in store for you since then? Well, we crawled back from Texas. We took a week or two to recover. And um, we actually just got a new rehearsal studio in West L.A. Uh, writing a new album. We have about 20 songs demoed right now. And we're excited uh, for our next album. Now, you're originally from the Midwest, right? I'm from Indiana. Indiana. And where are you from? Well, I'm from Michigan, kind of via England, kind of lived all around. It's a really kind long of, story. <laughs> apparently, yeah. It's, you the, can read about it online. The reason I mention <laughs> that is because you do have like a real kind of Midwestern Americana strain sure. to your songwriting. You have this wonderful song, uh, Summertown, yeah. which just evokes, to, to me anyway, sitting on a, the trunk of a car in a high school parking lot on a summer night like long after graduation when maybe you shouldn't be there sure what's the story with that song? that's you know that's it's partially about you know being in high school and you know i you know i actually revert back to being in indiana and in the midwest but it's really about living in los angeles and, and looking back on your life and looking forward and the highs and the lows you guys do have a good time and, and i watch these videos of yours and i've seen the footage and uh is that like for real? Because this is some like real entourage type fun you're having. That is definitely for real. I mean, we're not into music for that. That's just kind of a nice byproduct, but it is, it's the best job in the world, man. It really is. What's and, going uh, on in some of those videos? Let our audience know. Uh, you know, you I, seem like such wholesome boys. We, you know, we're, we're musicians. Obviously we have a reputation to travel and have a lot of fun and we do. We love it. Um, on our first trip to South by Southwest, we had a French videographer come with us and he documented the whole trip and he cut every day up into an episode and we put it online and it raised some controversy <laughs> i guess and we got a lot of feedback from what kind of controversy and bear in mind this is a family program we have, we have children watching <laughs> well, this show I, we realize that you know nothing you know too harsh yeah right? there's a lot of like long walks on the beach and writing poetry planting flowers and some of the lawyers didn't appreciate those flowers lawyers got involved well yeah I think we've we're, moved on from I think that we're one. speaking in metaphor no, we here. <laughs> now, obviously, you guys have a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun now. In fact, I can't remember the last time I've had so much fun. When but we were at the salad bar. The salad bar, yes. You guys, high five. You guys do have this kind of crazy fetish, salad bar fetish. What's up with that? Yeah, well, we find that salad, unlike most foods here in America, don't go straight to your hips. But I've also heard that... Uh, you know, when you put avocados all, all over your body, it's great for your skin. So I tried it once, and they kicked me right out of the restaurant. Did um dump? You see where the rivalry comes yes. from. Yes. See, this is the problem. We don't and, have a drummer to do the dump dump. And I think dump, I'm so understanding why you do the songwriting as well. <laughs> I mean, this guy, he's kind of got this Leaf Garrett on stage vibe. I he, mean, total rock star. He taught me everything I know. That and Sid Vicious. Did you ever meet Leaf Garrett? No. Okay, because you could probably find him on Sunset these days. Actually, Sometime. when we play concerts, people hold up posters of Leaf Garrett and say we love you Tristan <laughs> <laughs> awesome so well, at your next Native June show make sure you bring your Leaf Garrett poster so let's talk about the songwriting process sure. um, how do your songs actually evolve how do they come to life um, usually most of the songs are born in my bedroom uh, with my acoustic guitar in my hand 
And uh, I think my grandmother was born like that. <laughs> well, she was never in my bedroom. I didn't mean to infer that she was. Well, if she was, I'd write a great song about it. How do you write your songs? I write my songs. Um, they all start with with a guitar, usually sometimes a bass or a piano, and then we move it in, move it into the practice space. Um, yeah. So Ga in. Gabe will bring it in and say like, "Oh, I have this, you know, a couple like chords or." every song he's got more developed than another i mean it's, it can kind of go either way but then the bands will all kind of take that and like oh yeah that's a good melody or that's a good chord structure and kind of work our various parts around it i mean some songs just start with a you know a kick and a snare some songs just sort of happen organically you know gabe is in charge of, of lyrics and melody and i think does a great job of that stuff so we take care of the rest you know thank you and lyrics and melody. Yeah, I come in, with, you know, I usually come in with probably 20% of the lyrics finished. I think what, what really, like, when I, when I write a song, if I say something or I write something, I think, hey, that's a really good line or that's a really good message, or there's something about that one little hook, that's all you need, it, in my opinion, and that you can build a whole song around that. Are you able to, like, remember all this stuff, or are you running around with a memo pad? Well, no, I have a terrible memory, and actually, um, actually, I'll show you something. This is a. What is that? This is a, an artifact. It's actually. I've seen those in museums. This is a, a Motorola Razor phone, and everyone that I they know. They had that on the Mayflower, didn't they? But <laughs> I have over 400 songs. That's a man uh, very secure in his own <laughs> that, ma manhood. Exactly. You can tell by the jacket. Yes. <laughs> 400 songs in one phone, kids. <laughs> buy the new Razor. <laughs> Anyways, it my songs will not everything. transfer uh, to a hard so hard you're drive. So stuck with it. So I'm stuck with this, and I feel like this phone's worth about. It. Five million dollars. Hmm. Well, I'm just guessing. <laughs> what's on the horizon for you? What's on your plate? Um, the horizon. We're going to finish this album. Planning on touring in the fall. Hopefully, international tour. Uh, we're going to visit um, Tristan's. Home, Where are you guys home getting home. money to leave the country? You could barely leave LA last time I talked to you. Yeah, um, that's a great question. From playing shows and hopefully getting on TV shows. Hey, here we are today. <laughs> I ain't paying you. Actually, Leaf Garrett Shut sends up. us a check every month. <laughs> yeah. Well, awesome. It's been great having you on the show. A lot of fun. I wish you guys all the best. And uh, hopefully, maybe uh, you'll have me on your show someday. Hey, we certainly will. I can hope. Appreciate it. But Rock and roll, man. Song. <laughs> Do you want to hug it out? Hug it out. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Here, you can have your own microphone. It's summertime in summertown. We open shop when the sun goes down. And the children scream on these vacant streets. We mow the grass on the cul de sac. And the beauty queens, they all walk around. The businessmen on this side of town. I'm in love again And it feels so good But it's been so long Since I've seen your face, baby But I will find my way back home Ooh, I do not know what love is anymore 